What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. And what you're looking at right now is one of the biggest bums to ever place himself in Madden 18. Uh, Dan Marino sucks. And, uh, you know, pretty much like a lot of people hate him just to hate him. He is one of the most prolific passers of the football in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like real NFL history. I got to give the man his credit of obviously he never won a Super Bowl, but that's the only thing you can really take away from him. Um, a great throw of the football, all that stuff like that. But guess what? This is Madden 18. Tom Brady, you're getting benched. We're going to have your wife in the knee. Don't say the E because it's disrespectful. Plus, it's Giselle. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not going to go into all the descriptive things about what happened when I laid Tom Brady off of this individual situation. But just let's, look, you know, we got to understand something. You know what I'm saying? It went pretty good for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a different type of wife in the knee. But that's neither here nor there. Let's not worry about that. Let's go ahead and jump into this gameplay right now where I'm going to be playing against the guy that was sent from hell, that D-line users. Now, the funny thing about this game, we're going to be looking at Dan Marino throw a lot of interceptions, and it's I'm 100%. Obviously, I'm the guy using him. I'm the one that sucks, but that's not, that's not what this is about. The problem is I benched Tom Brady because I thought Tom Brady was garbage. Dan Marino sucks. Like, let me just tell you this right now, right? Tom Brady can make throws in this game, that tier three that I got that no other quarterback that I've used can make. Like, he can really zip it into certain places and actually do things that a lot of other quarterbacks that I've used, you know, they just can't do. Now, this guy, Dan Marino, has a 95 throw power. Tom Brady has an 88. They do, like, as far as, the, look, the throw power, you know, whole meta, I think, like, 88 and above is all the same thing. We know that EA loves the 88, like, with the speeds and all that stuff. I think 88 is the magic number because he throws the ball just as far as Dan Marino is going to do in this game. But that let's not talk about that. This dude right here is a double whammy, all right? Not only is he going to be trying to do wild things with Mariota and just – he's going to be able to throw the ball away in wild ways. Like, I've never been able to – you're going to see several times in this game, he's going to throw the ball directly out of bounds with no penalty, and it's going to be weird because – that's going to be like what he was trying to do. Oh, my God. Yo, look. Oh, 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 boy. You better get those ankles, boy. You better get them ankles. Who the F is calling me right now? What is this? Who is this? Somebody trying to call me right now? All right, I'm not going to worry about that. We got to go ahead and we, yo, we're we going to just ignore that because I think it's my wife. And I already told her, don't ever call me while I'm recording. But she's going to do it anyway. It doesn't really matter. But I love her for it, though. Um, so that's probably why she hung up because I just got off the phone with her. But listen, don't, don't, let's not worry about her. Women going to do what they're going to do. I'm like, listen, babe, I got to take care of this. Let me just do this video. She's like, all right. I got you. Like the video if your wife do that. Yo, I'm about to go do this, baby. Don't do this. All right, I got you. And then one second later, they do just that. That's why you got to love her, man. But th let's not even talk about that. She's taking me off my game right now. Let's get back to the... Why am I getting hit sticks so hard? What is... What's happening right now? Th look, right there, look. You see that? Okay, you see that pass, right? That was a Stevie. I give you guys that, right? Now, I led pass it upwards, but I should have threw... I should have thrown it a little bit sooner. Now, even though that was like... Look, like, it's thrown in the traffic. You see the way that his linebacker jumped it? I make that same exact throw with Tom Brady, and he zips it in. The only Oh, my. He's doing cartwheels, bro, and won't fumble because he has it on conservative. These bums are crazy. But look, listen to me, though. When I zip it through the middle with Tom Brady, the only thing that happens is that my receiver drops the ball, regardless of what they're catching traffic. What is this guy doing? What is he doing? Oh, I was about to say, I thought we dropped that. But either way, it's a pick. But look. Dan Marino, with that throw power, should be able to zip that in a lot better. But I think looking at it right there, if I were to lead, lead past it a little bit earlier at the point of it, what was that? I don't, I don't know what that was. That Yo, this guy, yo, this guy Dan Marino kind of sucks, dog. Like, this dude is garbage. But look, Tom Brady, he's a very, very underrated quarterback. What is this? Okay, that was a good pass. That, that's like one of his only good passes. He's a very, very underrated quarterback in this game because they haven't released that much of him. But when you look at his chemmed out card where he has like the high uh, mid throw and the short throw, Tom Brady is a savage in this game. We had to bench him. It was very, very hard. You know what I'm saying? For me to do it to him because he he's just been that dude. This D-line user dude, bro, how does EA say we want to stop Nanos and then they create savages like this? This dude is outright running around with Aaron Donald like a maniac. Like I have to actually ID him. Okay, that, that, that right there, that's what I was throwing the post route. Cause I was scared for my life. Like I, I was seeing red could do this D line user in me and my eyeballs about to pop out and I'm, Oh, nice. Run up a six, run up a six. Let's go. Don't try to try to bleed. You go to go probably run up a six, run up a six. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, good. Let's go. Jerome Bettis. All right. So look, now that we got the, you know, the seven points on the board, 
I'm not really worried about his offense because the look, the bottom line about this guy, he's a D-line user, and we already know how we feel about D-line users here. But if you're part of the Gmiles World fam, it's all good, but we still sort of kind of hate you. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like, why are you running around on your D-line as a man, dog? Like, you should never run around on your D-line as a man. But listen, it don't really matter. Like I said, I think this dude messaged me or something like that, and he watches my videos. I, I, I'm not sure because a lot of people send me the messages, but I think this dude... I knew who this dude was. Either he commented on a YouTube video or something. Um, not that I knew who he was, but I, I, he knows of my channel. So, like I said, because he watches the video... What? Yo. Oh! oh ah! All right, just because he watches my videos, we're, we're not going to take it easy on him. We still kind of like, yo, bro, you running around in your D-line user and you're a savage. But at the end of the day, he kind of sort of gets a pass because I encourage you guys to do whatever makes you happy. Like right there. He's running right in with his D-line user on a run play. Like, I've never seen savageness like that before in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen dudes D-line user come in every play and just smash me up with Aaron Donald, but I've never seen it on a run like that. Like, he actually outran my guard. Okay, look, this is, he just got, yo, this guy Dan Marino, dog. Like, you guys might say, yo, you throwing in the quadruple coverage. Yo, listen, I am. But I do the same thing with Tom Brady, bro. And Tom Brady doesn't do what Dan Marino's doing. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You got, oh, what, what is it? What, 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 what is it? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Run it for six, bro. Do me a favor. Take my mom out of the date too while you're at it because this guy's just doing whatever he wants. But listen, listen though. Let me explain something. Dan Marino is not worth any amount of coins that you would spend on him. Do not do not spend any coins on Dan Marino. If you guys listen to one thing that I say all year, that guy sucks. I was shocked that I got that full legend for 283K when I got him. I wasn't shocked after I, after I played with him. Okay, Irvin's going to drop every pass, even though he has a 94 catch in traffic. I got to get rid of him. But then again, it doesn't matter. Everybody drops the ball. But look, I'm going to tell you this right now. That dude, yo, Dan Marino, and then this guy makes me bench Tom Brady. See, that's what I'm thinking about this entire game. For everybody, what is, okay. You see, again, now you might look at that and see that it was seven guys there, and you're like, yo, what are you doing? You're throwing it in a, uh, what, is, what is the word for seven? Is it like Quincy? Like Quinstop it? I don't know what it is. Yo, I, I have no idea. But look, I threw it into a lot of coverage, right? Sue me. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm going to do it, dog. Like, I don't care. But listen, Tom Brady would have made that throw. I'm. A, you see, the thing about this, you see that throw right there? I don't know how he was doing this, but he was able to just, like, make it look like it was a pass, and it was going right out of bounds. Like, this dude is a D-line user and one of the most vicious overthrows I've ever seen in Madden 18 history. And it kind of made me happy to see that he was doing it because it just made me know that the game is more ridiculous than I actually thought it was before I played this game. And that's very hard to do um, because I've done, you know what? I think I'm about to break my TV after I do this video. Like I'm really, Madden has me doing things that I normally wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd be in the gym doing bench press and I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm going to add on another hundred pounds, even though I'm at like 350 because I want to kill myself. Like it's, but, but, but listen, like I said, it has nothing to do with what, like, yo, this game is, yo, Hey, I don't, Look, I can't even get the train of thought out because this game right here, dog, it, the things that go like this man is on his D-line user. And I'm just looking at him, bro. That's why I wanted you guys to see. I'm just looking at this guy like, yo, he's he's yo, he's a spawn of Satan, bro. This guy is really on his D-line trying to come in every play and just smash me up, bro. Like, what did I do to this guy for him to come out? Just D-line. Look at this guy. He's a maniac, bro. Maniac for love. Like this dude. So I had to start running draw plays because what I realized was this. Number one, Dan Marino's garbage. Number two, he's garbage. Or three, like, you stole me dime. Like, shout out to Mr. Krabs. But at the end of the day, we have to understand, Dan Marino sucks. And, and so does Michael Irvin. So that, that was a dot. You see how that dot, he made, like, two or three good throws where I'm like, all right, but it's not worth 283K what I got him for. And if people were buying him for, like, 300, listen, don't be deceived about, see, he's throwing them. He's throwing hot ones. You know, at the end of the game, because I realized something. To stop this guy's bumality, I had to start running bunch. Because the thing about bunch that's dangerous, why a lot of the pros use it, is because it gives you so many options initially. The only thing, you just need a little bit of time out of bunch to make a read. The problem is dudes make wild reads. Like, you see what this guy's doing? He's just doing whatever he wants. You run around with Mariota, throwing it, like doing whatever from his left to his right. He doesn't care. So when you play an opponent like this, you're playing against EA and your opponent. Because he's already figured out that it doesn't matter what he does. There's no penalty to what he's doing. So that's when they become dangerous. You see what, you see what I'm saying? Like, he's just running around. He, he, bro, it's like backyard football with this guy. So now 
you have to be more focused or your TV is going to end up through your sheetrock. Like, look, you see how you look, th this guy just threw the ball out of bounds in a way. I've never seen this before. I don't see. Look, you see like the way he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing that. Is there a way to do that? We could just throw the ball away no matter what, while it looks like you're trying to make a throw. Because th this guy was fascinating me. Like I was really like, I had a pen and paper, like I was in college. Like, okay, you know, let me write this thesis down. Like this dude was out here. Look, look at him, bro. One of the most vicious animal D-line users in the world. And right there, I didn't click on fast enough to regain my balance. But I, I, oh, punch him in the face. Let's go. Like, this dude is garbage. But I've never in my life experienced anything like this so far in 18. You see, but Urban has dropped four wide open passes. And he has a 94 catching traffic. You see what I'm saying? All I, what is this? What, 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 what's going on right there? Oh, I went for it? What did I do? I don't know. How does this guy have the ball back? I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. But why is he back there? Oh, I might have punted. I think I punted the ball. And then he throws it in the quadruple coverage. Well, that was triple coverage, and nothing happens. Because that's the way that EA likes it, bro. And it kind of turned me on a little bit, but not a lot with the way that EA was doing me dry. And I got to do – listen, I got to accept it like a man. Just like I tell you guys, um, whatever it is that EA wants to dish out, we got – oh, oh, that's your read? Okay. Okay, bro. Like, listen, man, we made it through it. We made it through the game. We're going to come away with the George W. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Dan Marino is the biggest bum in Madden 18 at quarterback. If you think a quarterback is worse than him, please leave it in the comment section. I want to thank all my new subs. I want to thank you guys for watching. The video goal for this video, 9,500. See you guys next time. One love.